I'm uh, Francesca Forno with uh, Siemens PLM uh, Software. Today I'm going to introduce to you new advanced development regarding radiation within liquids. LMS Imagine Labs uh, hydraulic libraries has always uh, taken into account uh, air either in a dissolved or undissolved uh, form depending on the pressure level with respect to the saturation line. Anyway, today you have more options for uh, aeration models. In particular, you can take into account variable air amounts at the inputs of uh, as inputs of your uh, hydraulic systems and components but you can also take into account uh, air dissolution and uh, aeration dynamics by considering uh, two different uh, time constants so these uh, options uh, are available in uh, the fluid icon. So, uh, you have to look at the aeration group and uh, you will find uh, as an enumeration parameter allowing you to select a uh, different type of aeration model. So you can have uh, uh, the option gas transport or a more complex option which is guns transport and uh, dynamics uh, where you can set uh, time constants for aeration and dissolution dynamics. In this uh, video we'll, uh, we will select the option guns transport and uh, dynamics in order to investigate the effect of air release and dissolution dynamics on uh, hydraulic pumps. In this particular case, it will be a vein pump. If you are interested in uh, this topic and uh, you would like to see also the effect of uh, variable air amounts uh, as input to hydraulic system, please uh, watch uh, the other video on the same topic. The LMS AMSIMA animation tool allows you to um, visualize the 3D geometry of the pump. In this case, it's a vein pump and you can link uh, simulation variables to the uh, 3D objects in order to represent the behavior of the component during the simulation. Each chamber in, in between the external stator ring in a green color, the internal rotor in a light blue and two consecutive veins is alternatively, alternatively connected to the suction port in a blue color or to the livery port in a red color. The pressure level within internal chambers depend on the volume variation along, along the revolution of the pump, but also on the ports connection to the suction and to the delivery. And finally, also on uh, uh, the fluid properties, in particular the bulk modulus, which represent the stiffness of the fluid. Fluid properties and uh, then the bulk modulus of the fluids depends on the air amount uh, within the liquids. So we will uh, um, consider a different dissolution time. We can access uh, to it through the icon on the fluid. We will run some batch simulation and for investigation purposes we will consider different dissolution times from tiny values up to 10 seconds. Looking at batch runs and simulation results that has been, have been saved in a plot configuration, we see that increasing the dissolution time from tiny values up to 10 seconds lead to um, more air in um, undissolved form in the liquid and uh, consequently to lower bulk modulus. The bulk modulus as a or I have already said is uh, mm, representing the compressibility of the fluid. So a more compressible fluid will lead us to pressure evolution and in particular to pressure peaks which are lower by increasing the dissolution time. 
pressure peaks are very important for vibration and the NDH characteristics of the pumps, consequently uh, the dissolution time has to be investigated in order to improve vibration and NDH issues. We have seen uh, that uh, the dissolution time affects uh, pressure peaks uh, inside the internal chambers of the pump and uh, we can also plot uh, the total force uh, due to the contribution of all chambers acting on the stator ring. And uh, the total force is uh, consequently also depending on the dissolution time. Consequently, uh, also the position of the stator ring and consequently the eccentricity of the pump is uh, strongly affected by the dissolution time. We can also plot the pressure peak as a function of the dissolution time and also the mean force acting on the stator ring and increasing the dissolution time we see that the pressure peak reduces as we have already seen before due to a higher compressibility of the fluid. Not only, also the mean force which is acting on the stator ring is also changing and what is more important it can of course also that it change sign. That means that the, the the displacement control of the pump can change uh, direction uh, in, an ex in an expected way. In conclusion, uh, new advanced aeration models allow customers uh, to represent pressure pinks within um, positive displacement pumps for any technology and also to um, represent the uh, force acting on the device for the flow control regulation of the pump. Thank you for uh, watching. For more information, please uh, visit our website.